How you doing? Happy Wednesday. We're here up at um, Gorm. Job there are we yesterday. Uh, doing uh, uh, dry zone plaster. Um, I can't. I can't think what the, it's somewhere in Sheffield anyway. Um, we're different places every day. So I said I'd do a video showing you what this was like once I've got it on. So uh, I'm ready for skimming it. I'll just mix some finish up. But I wanted to just show you what it was like when it was set. So this only went on yesterday morning. And as you can see, it's as, it's as dry as a bone. And if you listen to it, that tinny, tinny scraping sound, you can, you can tell how hard it is. It's like when you scrape a trowel on sand and cement. So this is really, I mean, it, when it sets, it is like sand and cement. But difference between this and sand and cement, other than price, is um, it's a warmer surface and it allows more moisture to evaporate out at brickwork once you've put your damp course in at a faster rate. Um, so there's less chance of um, other issues happening. So we've banged this on yesterday put it on it, it takes a lot a, a bit longer well a fair bit longer than just doing it with a, a plasterboard with express system uh, same here on this side I'll come over here so same again I've just PVA tops I'm gonna skim it blend it in and then they can put skirtings on and then in a, a week or so they'll be able to paint it and uh, that look that damp at bottom at wall because we've put dry rods in uh, damp check rods uh, any dampness rising will um, will evaporate out at wall and none will come up then so wall will return to what we call equilibrium with its surroundings so it'll be as dry as surroundings uh, and that's it really it's just going to be a question of me banging that on and uh, and that's it so this this backing what safeguards fetch start, I said uh, it's absolutely brilliant for if you've got um, farm buildings that's converted converted farmhouses uh, or converted farm buildings into houses for for walls like stone walls this is ideal and they do a, a high line version so if uh, it's a conservation area they do a high line version and it's similar to this but. Um, if you ever, if you've ever uh, like done a, a farm building or that's a solid wall, that's a really thick solid wall, and you wanted solid plaster, you can use this stuff. Might take you a few coats putting it on, but this is ideal because it allows moisture to 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 go in and out. A bit like with Peter Ward saying uh, that you need a lime plaster on to allow it to breathe. But um, if it's below ground level, no. So if if it's below ground level outside, no. But if it's uh, if it's above ground level then this is ideal so if i ever went to look at a farm like a farm building that will be in, um, converted or an old house with big stone walls and ground levels were acceptable so same same as floor levels outside this system is what i'd probably choose and i have done it past i've, I've chosen this in past uh, and it dries out brilliant so Painting with a water-based emulsion when you're finished, if you put a silk on, because there's water still evaporating out at wall, your, your silk paint will bubble, uh, you'll get decoration spoil because that water's still evaporating, it gets trapped behind um, behind silk, silk plaster or behind wallpaper or behind tiles. So you like I said before, you need to allow it a few months for that to evaporate out. I don't know why I'm doing that. But, uh, so I thought I'd make this short video just showing you how to, um, or, well, just showing you what dry zone damp proofing plaster is like once it's set. If you look at other videos, you see me putting it on, you see me putting uh, dry rods in. So uh, damp Sam, please subscribe, because I'm doing these all the time, these videos. Anybody that don't like a Yorkshire voice, straightforward Yorkshire voice, 
don't subscribe because uh, you get my drony, weary tones all the time. So uh, enjoy the rest of your day and uh, look forward to some more uh, in in I can't say innovative, innovative. No, I can't say in it in a in innovative in in a innovative is it in a, in a, innovative anyway groundbreaking video <laughs> see you later